Welcome to another video review for WatchReport.com. My name is James Stacy, and today we'll be looking at the new Ocean 7 G1 GMT Diver. This is a follow-up to the original G1, one of Ocean 7's first watches that I unfortunately never got a chance to see firsthand as they sold out quite quickly. Um, this new one is available, as you can see on the image, the uh, in a full PVD case and uh, has a matching bracelet. This watch has a number of great features that are very rare at this price point. Um, it's a 42 millimeter case, uh, 13 millimeters thick. You, it, you can get it in a uh, brushed or PVD on stainless steel. And uh, it runs on an ETA 2893-2 movement, uh, painted hands and indices in C3 blue luminova, so it glows blue at night. A sapphire crystal, 300 meter, 1,000 foot water resistance, which is amazing in a watch this thick. Uh, a steel bracelet that actually uses um, screwed pieces and has uh, solid end links. 22 millimeter lugs if you want to put a strap on it. And lastly, you get a choice of five colored bezels um, that are optionable on the site at uh, ocean7watchco.com. So this is the uh, the new GMT, and what you'll see in this one is this bright orange GMT hand, which works in conjunction with the 24-hour bezel to allow you to track a second time zone. Uh, setting the GMT hand is literally as simple as setting the date. You will back off the crown, release the crown to its first position, and rotate clockwise to advance the hours. Counterclockwise will advance the date, pull out one more, and you have standard timekeeping. All the way back down, it's a fantastic screw down crown on this watch. No trouble at all uh, with this in about the month and a half that I've had it. I took this watch on an extended review to uh, California to a trip to San Francisco uh, where it was worn daily uh, as I toured about North Northern California. And uh, the only thing I can say that didn't hold up on this watch as I abused it was uh, I would say the finish on the bracelet. Definitely took some wear. Um, uh, from scrapes and scratches as I was climbing around and, and, and whatnot. Um, so on this one, uh, not only will you get the GMT, the standard timekeeping, the movement in this watch is extremely accurate. I found it to operate within about four seconds a day, but often not showing any deviance at all uh, when averaged out a little bit further. Um, you get this uh, lovely matte black dial, the indices are inlaid and uh, have the exact same border as the hands, which makes it for a really cohesive look. Um, all of this can, is available uh, at $599 for the PVD version, $549 for the polished version. Uh, we'll switch into macro mode and take a look at uh, some of the details on the watch. As you can see, it's got a coin edge on the bezel, very, very easy to operate. Here's your inlaid indices. The markers really are nice and they glow very brightly for their size. If we take a look at the uh, screwed links. No problems there. It was simple to size the bracelet, no trouble whatsoever. My most favorite thing about the new G1 GMT is after wearing it for an extended period of time, um, it, it slowly came to my realization that it uh, it's one of the few watches I can literally recommend to anyone. It has the technology and the build quality to be easily loved by a watch nerd and a dive watch aficionado, all the way to the casual wearer who may only want um, one watch, put it on every day, wear it without really thinking about it, just to tell time and look nice. I honestly think this watch could go from suit uh, to jeans and a t-shirt to a wetsuit in a weekend or week, however it is you uh, you span your activities, I think this watch would keep up well. This is a rare watch that is just actually cool, not only cool to one you know, kind of type of buyer. I think this is a really nice watch and it's definitely somebody to consider uh, the next time you're uh, cruising around and you take a look at the Ocean 7 watch uh, site, uh, check out the new G1 GMT. For Watch Report, my name is James Stacy, and this has been the video review of the Ocean 7 G1 GMT. Thanks for watching.